What is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it's your first time here, welcome. So today we are going to be reviewing the upcoming Balance Athletica Element Collection. The Element Collection launch is on Monday, March 22nd at 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So set your alarms because things do tend to sell out quickly on launch day. I did also wanna let you know that I do have a Balance Athletica shopping link that will be in the description box down below. Thank you so, so much to any of you who choose to shop through my link. I so, so appreciate you. So before we get started, as always, everything that I talk about in this video will be listed in the description box down below, along with all of my personal links, discount codes, Codes and measurements for reference. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So everything in the element collection was inspired by the periodic table of elements and a lot of the names of the pieces and the names of the colors of things um, have to do with the periodic table. So this color I believe is called rubidium. This is definitely a hot pink color that I'm not gonna lie, um, I probably would not have chosen this color myself if I did not pick this color. It's definitely not my favorite color that is being launched. Um, there are a lot of very, very bright colorways in this launch, like bright, vibrant colorways. And for me personally, I am much more of a neutrals gal. I like my earth tones, you know, black, white, gray, but it always kind of pushes me out of my comfort zone a little bit when I do get bright colors sent to me and I end up wearing them anyway. So this first piece that I have on right now is called the Isotope Bra and I have this in a size small. So this bra is made from Balance's Cloud Fabric, which they released in their Atmos collection, so the last collection for the first time, and the Cloud Fabric was definitely a hit. It is very, very soft and has a mild amount of compression. So as you can see, this is a high neck sports bra and wide coverage on the back. So it's almost like a sports bra that doubles as a crop top. You could definitely wear it either way. And then it does have a quarter zip zipper here in the front. So if you want to show a little cleave, you can do that. Personally, while I work out, I would not really wanna do that. When I worked out on this, I had it zipped up the whole time, but it is a cute look if you do unzip it. And this sports bra also does not have any padding in it. I definitely did wanna mention that because I know some people are not comfortable, you know, nipping out in the gym, but I definitely feel like this is a bra that if you wanted to put pads in there, you could just put pads in there, or you could even wear a different bra underneath this. Personally, I wasn't bothered by it. I do usually leave the padding in my sports bras, but I wasn't bothered by not having any padding. I feel like the material is thick enough that it's just like, it was fine. And then the bottom of the sports bra does have this like thick band to kind of keep things in place. And typically I'm not a fan of like bands at the bottom of sports bras. I feel like they tend to dig in, um, but this one actually doesn't really bother me. It's not like super tight and uncomfortable. So I do think the design of the sports bra is cute. It's definitely a very like sporty design with the white edges on everything and the like, I guess it's kind of, it's not color block, but it's just kind of like the white accent details. So definitely very sporty. Um, in this whole collection, maybe it's just the color that I, no, it's not just the color that I got. Like in general, this whole collection is very like, 80s vibes to me, um, like this outfit that I'm wearing right here. I did a poll on my Instagram. I was like, I can't tell if I feel like Workout Barbie, the Pink Power Ranger, or Xenon. Girl of the 21st Century, I don't know if any of you watched that. Um, I think it was like a Disney Channel thing. I don't even remember. Um, but Xenon won, and the, yeah, definitely like Xenon vibes in this, but at the same time, I also got like Pink Power Ranger workout Barbie vibes. So if you're into that, this collection is definitely the one for you. I also do wanna say support wise, this sports bra is medium support. Although it is high coverage up here, it's definitely not a high support sports bra, especially because there is no padding, there's no underwire. Like it still has a decent amount of stretch to it. So I don't really feel like 
strapped in or like locked and loaded in this. So personally, I would not do HIIT in this, but it is very comfortable for literally any other type of workout. Up next, we have the cloud pants and I'm also wearing these in my regular size small. So the cloud pants are high rise. They are seven eight length. They do not have a front seam and they do have the classic booty contour seam on the back. So again, the cloud fabric first released in the Atmos collection and it definitely was a hit. Like literally every single cloud pant sold out in every color, I'm pretty sure. And they definitely are a super comfortable pant. A lot of people compared them to Lululemon Align pants, but I do not feel like they feel like Align pants at all. The material is definitely a little bit thicker and more compressive than Align's. Like, Truly nothing is as stretchy as an Align. So although it's very, very soft like Align's, these do definitely have more compression, but they are still very, very comfortable. So the only issues that I'm having with this particular pair of pants, and it might just be this color slash it's a solid color and it's not a print. So the first thing is the lack of a front seam. You guys know that I am a big fan of taking the front seam away so it gets rid of camel toe, but I feel like the um, gusset seam comes really far forward in the front here to the point that like you can still see like the outline of what's down there. <laughs> so although it is more comfortable not having a seam literally like going up your crack, you know what I mean? It's still, if you are if you like don't like that for the look of it, this doesn't really achieve that because it's comes, the seam here comes so far forward that you can still kind of like see that down there. I don't think I've noticed it as much with any other leggings that I've had from Balance because as soon as they took the front seam off, which was in the Kingdom collection this past summer, every collection since then has been a print. So it was the animal print and then the camel print and then the tie-dye print. Um, or maybe they took it off for Oasis, but regardless, it has been prints, 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 prints. And I feel like when you have a print, it kind of disguises like what's going on here anyway. So although I noticed it before, it didn't really bother me. But now that I have a solid pair of pants and the seam right here comes so far forward, like I can definitely tell and it's just, it's not my favorite. Um, so I did want to point that out. And then the other thing, I don't know if it's just this color, but the first time I tried these on, I was wearing like maroon, like burgundy um, underwear, and they were quite see-through in the back. You could definitely see my underwear <laughs> through them. So any bright or dark underwear definitely will show through. Right now I have on nude underwear and nude underwear always seems to be the best option if things aren't completely squat proof. Um, and again, this is obviously pink. It is a lighter color. I don't feel like it would be an issue with a darker color, um, but this color definitely is not completely squat proof. Obviously with nude underwear, it kind of, it's okay. Like I wore these the other day with nude underwear to the gym and I felt completely comfortable. It wasn't leg day, but still. So that is something that I did want to point out, which is very interesting because the cloud pants that I got from the Atmos collection were black and white. And even on the white part, like they are not, see-through whereas these ones are which is kind of confusing to me because you'd think white is lighter so i'm not really sure what it is about this color but definitely be careful with it up next we have the atomic jacket and i got this in my regular size small so this is a boxy oversized crop hood jacket as you can see it zips up in the front it does have a little hood here the material feels kind of like track pant material is i feel like the best way that i can describe it it's kind of got that like 
like swishy track pant material to it. Um, and as you can see, it is a little translucent, which they meant to make this translucent. Um, but all the colors are a bit um, translucent, like even the darker colors. So it's not just the white one that you can see through, like that is the intended style to the jacket. And overall, I like this jacket. I always like oversized crop jackets like it's one of my favorite things that I wear all the time so I am a fan of it obviously it is going to show through to whatever you're wearing underneath it so you kind of got to like make sure it matches the outfit I'm not gonna lie I feel like I like this outfit more when I have the jacket as a part of it like it does coordinate very well and I, I get what they were going for here but the whole collection all together is very just edgy is what I would call it. It's very edgy, different, trendy, which is what they were trying to do. Like they're trying to kind of like put themselves out there and be different and edgy. But yeah, overall, I do like this jacket. Not a ton to say about it. It's obviously not gonna be like super warm because the material is rather thin, but I mean, it is kind of like windbreaker material. The next jacket that I have here is the Intensity jacket. And I also got this in a size small. So another sheer kind of like see-through jacket, similar to the last one, the material is kind of like tracksuit material, but it feels a little bit silkier than the last material. So I'm not sure what the difference is, but I mean, overall similar, but it is a little bit silkier feeling. It is a full zip jacket and it does have a hood with adjustable draw cords. It also has zipper pockets on the front and it has a tie at the waist so you can cinch it in at your waist. So it kind of gives you that like hourglass figure and then it is a little bit longer in the back than the front so it covers your booty back there. Overall, a very similar vibe to the previous jacket. It's just full length. I do like the black and white on this. I do like the kind of like color blocking look. But overall, between the two jackets, I do like the cropped one more. Um, I just, I'm partial to cropped things. You all probably know that. <laughs> um, so overall, a similar jacket, but out of the two of them, I would recommend, um, at least if your style's like me, I would recommend the cropped one. Up next, we have the Ignite bra, and I'm wearing this in a size small. So on my little like style guide that I have over there, it says that this bra comes in sizes extra extra small through 4X based on cup size. So there's the A through C and then there's the D plus. And I'm pretty sure I have this size small D plus but on my tag, it doesn't have that marked. So I'm assuming that's what they sent me because for Toluca, I received the D plus suits um, and I am a D, so <laughs> I think that's what I have. But anyway, this bra is made from the cloud fabric. It does not have cut pads. If you did want cut pads, again, you probably could set them in there. They probably wouldn't stay as well in this bra compared to the um, isotope bra. But this is a long line sports bra. It does have a little seam at the bottom of the band around the rib cage, which isn't my favorite. I actually like that a lot of other balance bras don't have that seam down there, but the seam isn't too tight that I feel like I'm like, you know, gonna spill over the side. So I am okay with it in this instance. It's just not my like personal preference. It does give you a decent amount of coverage. Um, I definitely have other balance bras that are a lot more showy in this area than this one. So it is a comfortable amount of coverage. And then these straps just go straight up and down and they are adjustable, which is a super nice touch. I love an adjustable strap because not everyone has the same preference or size bodies. So overall, definitely a comfortable sports bra. This is a light support sports bra. So I definitely wouldn't do anything other than some light lifting. I wouldn't do any like 
jumping or like running or anything like that in the sports bra it's just light support but it is very comfortable and I definitely would like lounge around in it and these straps although they are thin since they're adjustable I feel like if they started to get like too tight on my traps because I've talked about that before a lot of times skinny strap sports bras just like dig into my traps so if I started to do that I feel like I could just like loosen them up a little bit and it would kind of get rid of that like tight feeling up there so I am okay with the fact that the straps are skinny up next we have the moda top and I'm wearing this in a size small So I believe this style of top is called a shrug and it's meant to just be a like super, super cropped top. Um, they have like short sleeve version and long sleeve versions of these types of tops. But I feel like a lot of people are unfamiliar with these tops. I actually have a couple other shrugs that are similar to this style top. So for me, like it's nothing new, but I think a lot of people are like, what is this half shirt situation, but it's supposed to sit like above your sports bra. So you do have like a little cleavage, you know what I mean? So it just shows off whatever top or sports bra you wear underneath it. So I definitely think they meant for this top to be paired with the Ignite bra. The material is like a knit material, which is not what I was expecting. I was thinking that this material was gonna be kind of just like t-shirt material, um, but it is a knit material which worries me a little bit because knit material tends to snag pretty easily and I actually already have like a little spot on the back that did snag a little bit which other pieces that I have that when that happens I usually just like snip it off and call it a day but knit fabric is just very very delicate so this is definitely a delicate fabric overall though very comfy i like how when you wear a top like this your armpits get to breathe um i already if i'm wearing something long sleeve i prefer it to be oversized i don't really like tight things on my arms um so this is oversized and it you know it's kind of like airy as well the sleeves on this are super long as well as you can see very long and I have long arms so you can kind of just like pull it up and it's I think meant to be kind of just like oversized and bunchy so I think the sleeves are meant to be longer I do think these tops are really cute but I am wondering how much they will be because it is like half and not even half it's like a, a quarter of a shirt um, so I hope for like this amount of fabric the price is reasonable up next we have the luster bra again in a size small so this bra fits exactly the same as the ignite bra literally everything is the same about this bra except for the fabric so this is a super silky smooth fabric i'm pretty sure it's meant to be a performance fabric like super moisture wicking at least that's like what it feels like it would be i do feel like this fabric is a little stretchier um, because although this bra is the same size as the other ignite bra it does feel a little bit looser up next we have the liquid metal pants and i'm wearing these in my regular size small so let's talk about these pants um i'm sure you could already tell these pants are very very see-through the first time I tried them on, again, I was wearing the same like burgundy underwear that I was wearing when I tried on the cloud pants. And again, I'm not sure if it's just the light color or what, but they were very see-through when I tried them on um, with those. And then I have them on right now with just nude underwear. And I'm sure you can probably tell in the video, they are still quite see-through. So overall, these pants just are not squat proof. And again, I don't know if it's just the color, but um, yeah, they're not squat proof. So I have not worked out in these yet. Um, personally, when I put them on, I just could tell 
that I didn't really like them and I, I feel bad saying that because I know that you know everyone that makes clothes designs clothes they, they put a lot of work into it um, but these pants for me are just not my favorite um, as soon as I put them on I knew that I didn't want to work out in them because when I squatted down and I saw that they were very see-through and they also don't stay up when you squat down the material is just very very silky so it kind of just falls down I was like I just don't feel like these are gonna be a winner to work out in overall I just kind of feel like the material of both of these is very like costumey um, when I said like pink Power Ranger like this is what I was talking about like very just like silky um, kind of just reminds me of like the 80s like workout clothes from the 80s which can be fun and all but to me like I'm not sure if any of you had the um, American Apparel leggings back in college they had like like shiny like leggings kind of like these and I had a pair of those that I could wear for like 80s parties um, so overall like this is very costumey to me if I'm being completely honest um, I think I get what they were going for with like the liquid metal look um, but I, maybe it's just this color I feel like black would be cool um, but like this color I feel like a pink Power Ranger in this as far as sizing goes I have seen other um, balance athletes talk about these and a lot of them exchange them for a smaller size after the first time they worked out in them because they said that they kept falling down and they also kind of stretched out a bit when they worked out in them but for me personally i feel like if i size down in these they would be like very sheer on my butt <laughs> so i don't want to size down in them um because i don't think that's going to like help it might help them stay up but it'll just increase the amount of sheerness in the back um so overall these pants are just these are a no for me balance makes a lot of great things but this just kind of missed the mark if i'm being honest so i would say if you're gonna get a pair of leggings from this launch i would go for the cloud pants um probably in a darker color as well if you want to make sure that they are squat proof um obviously like i said nude underwear with those it's okay um, but if you are like, I want to wear whatever I want under them, definitely go for a darker color. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will say I have not gotten my Vitality pieces in yet. Um, but I know that there's been a big shipping delay with those. So I wanted to go ahead and film the video first um, because they might not come in before launch. So there are more pieces launching um, for Vitality. I just don't have them. But that is it. Let me know if you have any questions about anything in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer those for you. Again, the launch is Monday, March 22nd at 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And I do have a shopping link in the description box down below. That is it, you guys. Thanks again and have a great rest of your day.